So this is the only 80, the 43 meter custom line. That's a stairway that goes down to the gym and the beach club. We have a seating area here. Teak deck looks in nice shape. And then we've got these doors that go into the main salon. Stairway that goes up to the flybridge. The captain right now, he's showing me around, walking into the main salon. This is a new hardwood floor. The joinery is all mahogany, I believe. I don't know what's behind that door. Maybe storage. Good headroom. Television. I think there's storage behind these panels, possibly. And then there's a dining area and it looks as though these doors, pocket doors possibly close off and shut the dining area separate from the salon. Forward to the port, that goes into the galley. And there's a dining table for 10 here. The storage for flatware on either side. And both sides of the salon, a lot of storage in here. As you can see, it's very well organized. So these louvre doors are completely shut. They're automatic, so you can have separate dining or separate salon, depending on what's happening. And you can see down here, they've got all the flatware and plates stemware that's, that's a very nice feature you can just look at the fixtures and the finishing on all of the uh, cabinetry it's all very well designed everything's all organized perfectly let's go forwards into the master cabin through the foyer there's a doorway here which comes from the starboard side for the American, apparently. There's more storage here. Oh, technical area, technical storage. And then we have a day head to the starboard side, decent size. And then across from that is an elevator that goes from the main deck to the flybridge, the sky lounge deck. This is entering the master. So we're entering the master. Immediately to the starboard side is this big closet area with hanging space here, drawers, more drawers, and there's some space up here. This is about 10 foot by 6 foot. It's quite large. And across from it is more storage as well. There's these mirrors are oh, there's a safe yeah and another and they all all the cabins have a small refrigerator yes. so there's and three the cabin cabins here and they all have safe so we're going through there's a pocket door here which shuts or opens before you go into the master cabin and then we've got the king size bed, television, and then these stainless steel frame doors have this, not a balcony, but it's an open area where this window opens out and you've got this sort of alfresco seating area, which is nice and that can be opened or shut depending on what you want. The um, bathrooms are split equally. There's a his, with a commode, bidet, single sink, and walk-in shower. And then on the port side, the shower is not one, a walk-through. It's got the same, but there's a partition in the, minute, in the middle. So you have a his and hers shower. 
And then behind the back of the bed, you have another walk-in closet, which looks like the his. There is an enormous amount of storage space for clothes and shoes on this yacht. Because we're blocked in by two yachts, it feels a little dark in here, but you know, I'm sure when the windows are open, it will have a lot of light and. Or carrying out the new system for the new audio visual system. Audio, video, uh, internet. Uh, High speed internet. system. All new. Let's uh, we'll go down to the guest quarters. This is a leather padded tile finish, which is quite nice. We're going down to the guest area. We've got two cabins forwards, very large cabins. This is an oversized single bed, another bed with a Pullman. The finishes are the same throughout, it looks like. And then here is the walk-in closet with a safe and with the same audio-visual equipment, which is consistent with the rest of the boat on the floor, like your storage. There's a, big, there's a big dressing mirror here. This is a mirrored cabin, the same as the starboard. Technical area with breakers. And then we've got two cabins aft, which are centerline queens. And this is a very large bathroom with a shower sink. This cabin is big. And again, we've got the server, a lot of closet space here. And then we'll come back out and on the port side is another cabin. Same configuration as the starboard. Also, I can see they've got some emergency uh, yes. bulkheads here. These doors are watertight doors. That's built to the classification society's code. That's quite serious. Hope you never use them. And then we go back up to the main deck. Starboard stairway going up to the bridge and the sky lounge. Nice handrail, shallow gradient stairs mahogany finished floor, marble inlaid around the edges. This is a nice little serving area. This is all the uh, servers for the satellite and uh, televisions. And then we're going to go forwards. There's some Lucite artwork there. Interesting. Storage here, and more technical. So this is all breakers and technical equipment. Okay, more breakers for the flybridge. Okay, and the upper deck. And right behind me is the elevator. And now we're going to go forwards into the bridge. Okay, so we're into the bridge. I don't know what upgraded equipment's up here, but it all looks in good condition. Two chairs, and then we have this seating area behind, and the captain's cabin is behind to the port side. It's office area. And then a decent captain's cabin with a bathroom. It's a nice, nice size cabin. 
So we'll go out of the wing door on the port side next. So coming out, you've got a wing docking station and you'll see that this goes out just a little bit of the side of the hull so you can lean over when you're docking. And now forwards onto the bow, it looks like we've got two big garages, possibly with rescue tender under here. This whole section completely lifts up. The four decks are working deck. So this whole garage area completely opens. So this is a massive storage locker and technical space under here. And there's your rescue tender, big area, bosun supply. Everything seems to be very clean. And that hatch goes down into the bilge or crew quarters, I would imagine. Coming back up, there's some seating just forward of the pilot house. There's a mesh screen around here. I don't know how good a condition the glass is. It seems to be okay. No signs of delaminating. Walking back out of the pilot house towards the Sky Lounge. There's a day head just in front of the Sky Lounge. Now we're coming into the Sky Lounge. We have a large television. Looks like a lot of storage underneath either side, port and starboard. Stainless doors that open up. Nice mahogany floor. And then there's a serving pantry where the dumb waiter comes up to. And also, there's the dumb waiter serving pantry. And then this goes back down to the crew quarters or to the galley. Underneath this area also is a lot of refrigeration and freezer. So these open up and you'll see, hopefully it's quite deep. There's two of them under here and this is under the crew galley. We come back up and we're coming into the crew mess, which is the crew. And then there's four cabins for eight crew down here. And then we go back up to the galley, up to the stairs. So this yacht's called Only 80 because the owner bought it when he was 80. He's now 83 and I don't know what he's doing next. A card table and we'll go out onto this aft deck. Automatic, very large round table here. The teak is in very good shape. This is a huge area. Then we've got this seating area, lounging area, wraps around the entire aft deck. And this overhang protects most of it from a uh, sun. It's a pop-up television that comes up from there apparently, which is nice. And then that is the stairway that goes up to the sun deck stairway goes down to the main deck. You can see this is quite a large shallow incline going up to the sun deck. We've got a crane so you can put a tender up here as well if you want one. But this is where the tenders would normally, normally go I think, but I'll check. We have a bar area got these two big umbrellas and then there's a barbecue and a small sink area it's 
seating. I don't know what's behind here. Maybe there's a head in one of these doors. Shower maybe, I don't know. And then you've got these two wraparound areas with these two tables either side. This is really super cool, by the way. I like this layout. Hot tub with sun lounging area all the way around it. Emergency batteries. So this is all. This will all turn on. Is there an emergency generator up here? Uh, no. This is just battery, but battery operated. So now from the main salon, I was going the other way down into the beach club. For external or for internal? There's external into the beach club and from the salon. So I'm coming down from the salon side. And here we have six and a half meter, which is about 18 feet, Castaldi diesel jet tender. And it comes out of the starboard side. Emergency uh, steering, technical area, technical area for the hydraulics. This is all hydraulic area in here. They're the power packs for your probably stabilizer, bow thruster system, possibly, I don't know. coming out of the garage area into the beach club area or the gym. There's another washer and a dryer and sink down here. And now we're now in an area which is a gym. Television with the mirrors here on the wall. And there's some techno gym on the side. This is pretty cool in here. It's all finished very well. And then you come out of this doorway and this folds down to make your swim platform into a huge area. So, and you have a shower in there apparently. And that's the stairway that puts you up onto the aft deck. Oh, there's a big swim ladder that comes down out of the starboard transom area. Nice passer rail. You can see everything's in really good shape. You see how clean and organized and no rust. Everything looks really good as far as condition. But it has a frequency converter. We're going to the engine room now. So we're going into the engine room. All the uh, manuals, all current on everything he says. This is the control room. There is a frequency converter somewhere. See, it's the sofa for the engine. <laughs> so, engine room, the Caterpillar engines. Two water makers, here's all the membranes for them exhaust system, water softener, two generators, 8,000 hours each. signs of oil leaks or anything that looks in really nice shape
engines have 3,800 hours. These engines are typically 10,000 hours before they need to be majored, give or take. Recommended by Caterpillar, but depends on how well they've been used. Minimum 10,000 hours. This system is what? This is a, oh, so it's a com that's a commercial system. That's not your average yacht system, that's a serious system. There's a centrifuge back here for the fuel. And I can hear the frequency converter, I think. That's it here, yeah? Okay, so here's the shore power. And, and the cabinet up there. And here's the generator. Very tidy and clean. Nice engine room to work around. Everything's accessible. You can see everything's nice and clean and tidy. There's another ladder and downstairs are all the valves. All the valves, all Cooper Nickel stainless. This is a technical area underneath the sole of the crew quarters. This is a water heater and a purification system for the water maker pumps. And then coming back out here, this is a laundry facility to commercial washers and dryers. And this is one more, one more, one more in the gym. In the gym. And then this is just some storage, and then we go up to the crew mess.